The week of August 15th, the city approved a master plan of the Ellen Trout Zoo to begin construction on a multi-million dollar exhibit to house three gorillas. When KTRE posted the story on Facebook, I was shocked and appalled at the comments. After learning more about the funding, I found out this is money raised by the zoo, not coming from the city, not from local businesses, and not coming from any school money. The zoo has a very robust support system that has raised this money themselves through user fees, grants, foundations, local service clubs, and friends of the Ellen Trout Zoo. A portion of the zoo's admission fees go to the city's general fund to help offset zoo operating costs. The zoo opened in 1967 as a gift given from a local Rotarian to start a zoo with one hippopotamus. This has nothing to do with any other business in town. It's not taking away jobs, but will actually add four new jobs to the zoo and bring more local tourism to Angelina County as it has done since 1967. Zoos bring about interest and connection with the animals they house. These animals are often part of conservation studies to ensure survival of species when humans tearing down habitats have put them in danger. This zoo was built by the residents of Lufkin for the residents of Lufkin and surrounding areas and will continue to operate that way and will not take anything from the school or companies in our area. A common phrase is, if you're not growing, you're dying, and I for one am excited to see our zoo growing.